I look back uh, my career on the ice those things were great but the relationships and the uh, the uh, opportunity to try to make a difference in other people's lives that mean as much or more to me than the stuff on the ice so I, I talked about Terry Fox I got the opportunity to meet him uh, one of the things Terry Fox, when he was uh, arrived at the Ontario-Quebec border, they asked him if there's anything special they could do for him, and, and he had uh, asked them if he could have an opportunity to meet Daryl Sittler and meet Bobby Orr. And so when I got the call from uh, the president of the Cancer Society, they said, do you want to meet Terry Fox? And obviously that was something that was very meaningful to me. I knew, you know, uh, followed his run when he went through the Maritimes and through Quebec, and. So they set it up. He had no idea I was going to uh, to be there. Um, he had finished 13 miles. He was in Yorkville and at the hotel. And I went into his room and I remember walking in and said, hey, would anybody like to go for a run? <laughs> and I'll always remember the expression and the smile and, and the emotion that came through that first meeting. So we ran down University Avenue. It was a beautiful July day. The streets were lined with people cheering him on and went into Nathan Phillips Square. There had to be 20,000 people there. But uh, before I met him, I went home that morning and I, I was at my cottage and I went home in Mississauga, grabbed my All-Star jersey and I put it in a brown paper bag and I presented Terry the All-Star jersey in Nathan Phillips Square and he wore it. Uh, but I got to know him from that point on and he's one of those um, uh, people in my mind, he's like the, the greatest Canadian ever. He did such uh, a lot for uh, mankind in such a short span in his life. There's uh, runs in 50 countries around the world. There's been over $600 million raised. And, and what I learned from Terry, and I think we all can learn, is like sometimes you're dealt adversity and, and things aren't going all the way you might like, but you can take it and turn it into positive and, and make a difference. So Terry Fox picture sits in my home. I can obviously say there's not a time where I don't go by it. I think I get up and I say, hey, listen, if this guy can take uh, his adversity and do what he's done with it to make a difference and, uh, and uh, help other people, then uh, the little bit I can do or anybody else can do is, is minimal uh, by, the, by, by standard. But the other thing is, is every I, I believe every morning you get up, you have a choice of what your attitude's gonna be. And you can either sit on the sidelines and do nothing or you can try to make a difference. And, uh, Terry Fox was one of those guys that made a difference, and I think that's what uh, the message is to anyone. We can make a difference. So we're back at the burger stand. <laughs> I didn't realize we were right across the street from that.